Welcome back guys to Pinar Cross of Market Mark here. Let's go and talk about some free agents that's, you know, this is going to be a really, it's a cluster of players that's going to be going into differences mm -hmm. or staying. Maybe we can start with the player that maybe is for sure stay Clay. Is that for sure deal since Kevin kind of turned down his uh, man. player no, option? I, I don't know anymore, man. All these rumors, all these <laughs> woke bombs talking about how Clay wants out, he wants a match contract, he Jeez. might go to LA, Clippers or Lakers. I mean, there's nothing you, you can't believe all these insiders anymore, in my opinion. But does Clay stay? I hope he stays. I mean, mm -hmm. run it back one more year. You never know what happens. He is, I mean, he is going to come back late in the season. Uh, why not try it one more, one more, or, 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 or sign a few more years with Golden State and see what happens? I, I think Golden State is the perfect fit for you. Um, and whether KD leaves or not, you want to be with Steph Curry. It's Steph Curry being your backcourt mate, you guys mm -hmm. can gel, play together as well. I mean, it, I mean, who knows if Clay wants to play by himself, yeah. or he wants to play with a, another player other than Steph Curry. That's up to him, but I, I do believe he should stay with Steph Curry, whether or not KD stays or not. Golden State is a good place to stay for uh, Clay Thompson. How about you guys? I think my only stay? concern is that if they do stay, KD does also stay too. Like yeah. the whole like salary cap and everything too, mm. just financially. I just feel like that's going to be a huge bump for the Warriors. For them to be able to sign Clay, yeah, and to sign Dre, <laughs> yeah. they can't sign yeah. KD, KD, so they no. have to choose between the two. And I feel like um, at this point, where KD stands in terms of declining his. Um, his player option, I think he's uh, he's out of he's out of the Golden State. I think the Golden State uh, GM Bob Myers already knows that in a sense. So they're preparing basically to offer Clay Thompson the max, mm -hmm. and then basically take care of uh, Dre from here on too. So then we know that. Key. Well, speaking of KD, then what do you guys think KD? Because I feel like it's a strong possibility that they're gonna. Clay already mentioned that once they give him the max contract, he will stay, which I think they will do. Not knowing that KD is basically yeah. out of the. Yeah. So where do you guys think KD is going? Brooklyn. Everyone's saying Brooklyn or Brooklyn going back to the, going mm -hmm. to the East for the first time, maybe either yeah. Knicks or Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Between the two, who's who, who would you rather have if you're KD? Who would you rather play for? I think uh, if you're if you're KD, you would want to play Brooklyn. Brooklyn. In interesting team that's uh, up and coming who is in the play who, who is in the playoff playoffs. Contender, yeah. contenders right now compared to the Knicks who just drafted RJ Barrett mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it that's all the Knicks have right they're now rebuild. they're not they're <laughs> yeah. still rebuilding so yeah. I mean it's, so if K K Cameron Durant is going to miss his first season of wherever he signs with you're still going to be on a team that could potentially be in your second year that you're going to be there, be in the playoffs compared to if you are going to go to the Knicks your second year there with potential R.J. Barrett, you guys are still going to be either in rebuilding mode or not going to make it to the playoffs or have, try to make the playoffs, but won't make it at all. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like that's... Like cinching kind of thing to even yeah. reach the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I say go to the Knicks. I'm not going to go with J.R. I think, I think Kevin Durant, his legacy has been kind of, uh, what do you call it, has been questioned because mm -hmm. of all that Golden State talk with him and obviously got injured. But I feel like if he were, go were to go to the New York Knicks, recover from his injury, Bring the New York and that brand of New York Knicks, that Change brand it. by itself, the turn garden. It around, turn it yeah. around. If you turn that around, around yeah. it doesn't matter if he left his team that to go to another team that had 70 whatever wins. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you can turn a brand like New York Knicks into a winning squad, and RJ Barrett, he can be a big player. And you, know, you never know, they can make some good moves in the next free agent season or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Kevin Durant, I think, owes it to himself to get his name back, back out in the clear and to be known as someone who is, like, that can turn franchises around. Because mm -hmm. right now people question him and there's a lot of media talk against him. Yeah, right, so right. Yeah. That's my, that's my percent, JR. <laughs> <laughs> well, so speaking of another player that everyone thought would have been the Nick too, Kyrie Irving, where, oh. where is he going to land? Like, where? He's definitely not going to go back to Boston. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, sure. he's, he's sure. Yeah. no, no, no. Not with that young squad. We feel that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a strong contender that Kyrie Irving would go to, go to Brooklyn. Despite, I feel like if, too. Even if KD comes or not, um, it just, it's just weird. If, if Kyrie goes to Brooklyn, what does that mean for D'Angelo Russell? Can he play with D'Angelo Russell? <laughs> or does D'Angelo well, Russell, Russell go back like to the Lakers? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Like, I think once the once the Brooklyn Nets kind of chooses, hey, we were going with Kyrie. I think Russell's out back. of the window because of you know because of the salary cap wise in terms of who they can sign. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think that he's a better fit for the Brooklyn Nets? Do you think they're a better team with him or they're a better team with D'Angelo Russell? Just because of how they did this year, they were able to make the playoffs with D'Angelo as their superstar and all star. 
I mean, it, and it, most it, improved contender too. So yeah, I mean, it is kind of an upgrade when you come when it comes to D'Angelo Russell and Kyrie Irving. Sure, D'Angelo was one of the main pieces that brought you to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving is the one that made the the game winning shot in the NBA Finals. Who can actually continue your uh, journey to the playoffs with without with or without D'Angelo Russell? I think it's a huge upgrade. Um, D'Angelo Russell, I'm sorry, man. I think <laughs> you're going to lose your job to Kyrie Irving, whether or not. Or if you want, if you're willing to say, yeah, you know what, I'm going to step back. Oh, I'll try to work it out with Kyrie Irving and see what we can do together as backcourt mates. Mm. I mean, he could still be that. He could be a, a shooting guard. I know. Uh, I think Joe Harris is on the squad as well. Uh, he might. Uh, They're just have way a too guard heavy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that, that I think too, Dan, so. once Kyrie is, comes in, they have Karis Levert, they have Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, Levert, yeah. And they, it's just a very, it's very tough. deep squad for guard wise. And I think once they do choose to go with Kyrie, D'Angelo is bound to go somewhere, which is a good question for you guys. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. where would, they, if you were D'Angelo, who has a lot of interest from different teams, not just from Brooklyn, but also with Lakers. Lakers going right? back there. He was going drafted there, now he's Lakers. going back. Mm -hmm. So the, he has, where would he fit? Like, he could also sign with the Knicks, if anything else, right? Where do you think you would go? If the Lakers want you back, would you go back to that franchise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I would go back to yeah. the Lakers. You draft me, you trade me, and then you want me back? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Emotionally, I wouldn't go back, but I feel like it's a good like to play with LeBron. Well, and to play with Anthony Davis and too. And to play with Anthony Davis, it's like a once in a. And I think they have the money, right? Mm -hmm. they Anthony Davis like declined his trade yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 so they good. can offer him if they can negotiate. They can try to wiggle mm -hmm. some room to get another you know good role player in. But they can offer him money. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's say money talks with D'Angelo. D'Angelo, right? And technically, the guy who, who was the main spoken reason to trade you is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. He's out. Yeah, he's he's, he's sitting at home tweeting about the, his own <laughs> team. So, I mean, it's not. It's, you're, you're, you're okay to go back if you want, or. Go to another team. I don't know. It's just there's so many movements around the NBA. Yeah. I don't, I don't know exciting. if this is a good, well, uh, perfect fit for D'Angelo Russell. But <laughs> may, go back to Lakers. Why not? There's so much more. I mean, there's a lot more. I mean, let's maybe go quickly on players like Kemba Walker and Jimmy. Like, where would they be oh. fit? Because I want to say one more player for last, and I think you guys know who it is. Mm -hmm. So, uh -oh. <laughs> Kemba and Al Horford, like, you know, where... I know the Lakers were looking at Kemba at one point. Mm -hmm. those, those are the rumors. There's just so many rumors going around, you just can't keep up with it, though. I, I see him in Boston. But There's yeah. a big interest Boston? that he's yeah, landing Boston in Boston. Too, yeah. mm -hmm. And he would, do you think it would be a better fit than what Kyrie was able to? Because they're kind of the same player. They're herky-jerky, ball handling, and ball dominance, shooter. Can Kemba has defend. that. Kemba has that aspect, and I also have. I think Kemba has the aspect of uh, I, I like Isaiah Thomas when he played for the Boston Celtics, mm -hmm. um, as a one of the main shooters who actually can make shots and also can pass off the ball, mm -hmm. compared to what Kyrie Irving was doing. I mean, I think. Just, just ha not having Kyrie Irving there is gonna help out the whole Boston Celtics so organization. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what it really comes down to. But Kemba Walker being actually freed up from Charlotte would be either so, whatever team he goes to is gonna be uh, make me happy as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what about? You know, I don't. I think there's big news about Jimmy too, about Houston or, or Philly coming back to Philly. Between the two teams, where do you think he would see that he should stay or sign with? I don't know with Houston though. Like, I know that Houston was looking at him, but just with that team and how they were this past season, even in postseason, I just don't see. I can see the fit, but I just don't see like the development the there. The, yeah, the, the ego, just too much in the chemistry in there for the long term. Yeah. So you have two ball handling dominant guards already, mm -hmm. and that uh, has you know attitude too. With One that's not to a locker room guy, Chris Paul. Even though I love him so much, but yeah. he's just not that kind of guy either. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think Philly stuff. will offer like yeah. the max to him, yeah. and, and, and Philly and him people stuff. love him in Philly. Yeah. Philly is a good fit. He fits, he, he, he fits well. Yeah, he fits yeah. well just because of his mentality and how mm -hmm. he is. He's a hard nosed, mm -hmm. like blue collar kind of guy mm -hmm. that just like goes down and just work. I mean, you went game you get seven games with a defending chance. I mean, why not run it back with your with the old squad? Jimmy Butler should stay in Sixers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's true. Well, speaking of the squad that <laughs> eliminated them, what's happening with Kawhi? Like. Oh man. Well, Kawhi's having fun in Barbados. So. <laughs> blue he was Jersey. rocking Blue Jersey. Yeah, I was supposed to say Blue Jersey. <laughs> should, should we be worried or should we just let this, you know, let this run its course? Because I think we've done enough as a franchise, as fans, as a general, uh, as um, Masai Ujiri has done everything, the team has done what it can to show Kawhi what, you know, mm. 
how good it is to be here or how much we want him to stay here. I mean, just uh, quickly, Kawhi, don't worry about where he goes or not. I mean, we, we have to appreciate what he's done for the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do want him back here, and uh, we just got to wait for, this, uh, for the decision on the next uh, coming days. And uh, I know, I, like, just don't, don't read the insiders. Just, you know, oh, he's having meetings with Clippers, always oh, having meetings with Lakers, always oh, having the meeting last with Masai yeah. Jury. Just oh, wait for the box and wait for the decision. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, he's just leaving. wait for it. But it, it just uh, quickly, it's, it's just interesting that this free agency is kind of revolving along, around Kawhi. It is. And it's on, until Kawhi, oh, until yeah. Kawhi yeah. Uh, makes his decision. Makes his decision everything's gonna fall and everybody's just gonna start moving but it is kind of, it's kind of cool from where he's been at um in san antonio injured player and then uh on the come up to being one of the main guys to be around the free agency mm -hmm. like I, I remember back in the days we used to say believe in Masai. Yeah. Well, we gotta believe in Kawhi. <laughs> As Kyle would say, five more years, man. Come on, stay with us, yo. Raptors. Oh, why am I doing this? Stay salty. Stay salty. No, no, stay no. Salty, man. It's red. No. It's red. Yeah, yeah, it's red. But, but Kawhi, you remember this moment? <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi, are you watching? Kawhi, are you Kawhi? watching? Remember this? Yeah. Right. As a big Raptors fan, like, how confident are you that Kawhi? We're gonna see Kawhi in a Raptors jersey. Next uh, I'm gonna say at least I'm gonna say 80% confident that he's gonna come back. That's mm -hmm. just for me. But that 20% where just like if he chooses to leave, then he does leave. I'm just at the point where like I'm okay with whatever yeah. decision he makes. Mm -hmm. I, as much as we all love him, the, he, he did what he was. He did to what do. he did. You know, yeah. that's what he said in, from the very first press conference, from like in, all the way in September mm -hmm. till now. Like this is what he has accomplished. So like if he wants to pack his bags and go back home. Mm -hmm. If he wants to go it. home, go home. Go home. And we'll probably do a standing ovation every oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. We're that great of a nation. We would. Yeah. I agree. Kawhi. <laughs>